Welcome to the Grizzled Geek in Review for uh, April 14th, 2017. That's it. I'm Mike. I'm Doug. And uh, here's all your geek news for the week. Uh, well, after months. You know, months of speculation of who's playing Cable in the new Deadpool 2, uh, looks like Josh Brolin is our man. Thanos himself is going to be playing Cable. Yeah, all right. Uh, he beat out the likes of Michael Shannon, David Harbour, or even talk of Brad Pitt for a while with that concept sketch coming out. Yeah. Uh, rumors of Pierce Brosnan, although that was just kind of a yeah, that just rumor thing. Yeah, that seems silly. But yeah, he beat them all out. Josh Brolin, uh, which is a little odd because he's, he's playing Thanos. Yeah, but, but I mean, I think he's got the presence for it. He's uh, got the, I, I like his voice. True. As, uh, he's not as big as like, uh, you know, David Harbour would be. I mean, the bulk. Yeah, but that's know. true. Although he's got that jaw. True. Put shoulder pads on him and lifts. Yeah, that could be all right. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, Josh Brolin, our cable. First time we'll see cable. Uh, in film, so uh, looking forward to it. I mean, he's a great actor, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, and now our second bit of news, which I had a fight with Doug. Doug insisted it wasn't good enough for our number one story, but <laughs> '80s action star Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren has been cast in the new Aquaman movie. <laughs> wow. Uh, yes, as King Nearest of Zabel. I guess. Zybel? I know, I know nothing about Aquaman. No. Oh. I've never been an Aquaman fan. So. He's a fellow fish man, rival fish man. Yeah. Apparently a rival for Mira, uh, Aquaman's wife. He's a bad guy. So we're going to get to see Jason Momoa go toe-to-toe with Dolph Lundgren, and they're probably right. going to be wet. So it's, I, I'm excited That's about it. That's Mike's know. wet dream there. <laughs> Big Dolph Lundgren fan. So uh, I even own the original Punisher movie. Yeah. On VHS. He was good in that. I don't care. I like that. <laughs> the movie's so bad. It is, but I love he it. is good. I love it, yeah. All right. Um, also, as you probably watched our Thor reaction, tra- our trailer reaction. Trailer reaction, yeah. Uh, if you haven't, go watch that. It's great. Um, that trailer, apparently we weren't the only ones who liked it. Yeah. <laughs> it is, in the first 24 hours release, it's Marvel... And Disney's most watched trailer trailer ever. Ever, yeah. Uh, 136 million views in the first 24 hours. Uh, the next closest one was Civil War with 94 million views. Uh, yeah. So huge people. And what they're saying is this movie is now um, where no one is really expecting much yeah. of this movie. Now it's a front runner as every every trailer reaction video I've seen. I've mm-hmm. gone watched a few. The, every one of them was like. I now want to see this more than Spider-Man. Yeah. Almost I mean, every one of them. That's said. unheard of Something for a like Thor that. movie to be this anticipated now. Mm-hmm. Because before that, it was on anybody's radar, except for mine, because I'm a Hulk fan. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it was like, it was going to be uh, Marvel's end of the year movie. You know, after Guardians yeah. 2, after Homecoming, and that's another Thor movie. Yeah. But that trailer was amazing. I've been saying it. Taika Waititi is, it's going to be good. Yeah. So yeah. I'm excited. All right, now on to box office news. Yes. Beauty and the Beast now has over a billion worldwide gross. Billion. Becoming the highest grossing musical of all time. In the Disney Actually, Billion and, Club. And not even close. I looked this up. Mm. There's nothing else that's made even half this much. Really? Um, yeah, I looked up like wow. the 2012 Les Mis worldwide took just shy of 500 million. And it's not... It's not the number one, at least domestic grossing right. movie. Uh, there's, I believe, uh, no, I don't have it. I don't have it handy. They were there was two ahead of it. Um, Mama Mia might have been one of them. Yeah, it was a pretty popular uh, but, musical. But uh, and I think Greece was. Um, of course, you mean Popeye didn't beat it? Uh, Come no, on, man, no. Popeye. That's my favorite <laughs> musical of all time. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, it's part of the Billion Club and highest grossing musical, musical. of all time. Uh, Guardians Volume Two is tracking for a 150 million opening, which the original did 94.3. Oh wow! But the original was an unknown quantity, and True. there was a lot of um, skepticism about it. True. You know the trailers still did 94 a with yeah. an unknown. Yeah. yeah. Now everybody knows it, and it's one of the favorite Marvel properties. So 150. So, yeah, it's got a, uh, it's shooting for a big opening. 
On the other hand, Wonder Woman is tracking for an 83 million opening, which has to be kind of disappointing for... Um, it's sad when an 83 million Warner. opening is a disappointment, but when you look at what the you know Suicide Squad opened with and what... I mean, yeah. it's not Batman versus Superman. I mean, you got Batman and Superman in a movie, so it's not going to do that. It was never going to do that. Right. Business. But still, they were hoping for... Closer yeah. to 100 million, I guess. Especially considering this was everybody's hope that this would get the Marvel or the Marvel, the DC universe back on track. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> this is. <laughs> it's kind of wedged in there. It's not actually. It's not Memorial Day weekend, is it? It's. Uh, it's yeah, no, it's yeah, it's got a weird. There's like a couple. There's like an open before and after. I think there's a movie that's. Oh, Pirates! It opens after Pirates. Pirates okay. comes to Memorial Weekend, so. I, I don't know. I'm still hoping. I mean, obviously, I'll be there to see it. Yeah, and I want it to do good. I yeah. don't want it to um, yeah. to bomb or anything like that. Uh, right. I think it it looks good from the trailers. So only in the realm of comic book summer blockbusters is 83 million opening a disappointment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. But uh, all right, moving on to speculation and rumor. At this point, we're going to take a step back from news real quick. And we're going to goob about something that's total speculation. Yeah. Uh, which is what we're, we do. We're nerds. We do that. Yeah, kind yeah of true. Argue about this. Uh, there was leaked rumor on uh, a Reddit page about um, the Black Adam and Shazam movie situation. Right. Uh, and apparently what the rumor is, is that um, Black Adam is going to be the main villain in uh, Man of Steel 2, the Superman sequel. And the reasons behind this is that their studio is not very convinced. Well, at first he started off, he was going to be in the Shazam movie. Right. Right. Then he got, you know, once they signed The Rock, he got his own movie. It was going to be Black Adam movie and a Shazam right. movie. That's still the official right now. Is that they're going to be two different movies. Right. Um, but the rumor is the studio is not confident in Shazam. Uh, but they have Rock signed and they have a big... He's hot right now. Right, yeah. And they want to strike while the iron's hot. They don't want to wait uh, to hopefully a Shazam movie pan out and just mm -hmm. do a black on by itself. would be kind of weird without Shazam. I mean, I'm sure Shazam will be there. That'll be interesting to see how, if they move, if they have it, uh, both Shazam and Superman and Black Adam, you know, all in this Man of Steel movie. Yeah. Uh, the, I don't know how you do Black Adam without Shazam. I mean. Right. Well, and here's the other thing is... Um, how do you do Black Adam as a bad guy without setting him up? Yeah, exactly. He's the first. Um, he got the power. He was before Shazam. He had the, yeah, has the power of all the gods. Yeah. Um, it That kind of weird, without any kind of background set up for him, right. that puts him into the Superman realm. I mean, he's one of the few people you could take wholesale and just go, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. Superman. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't know how those two mesh. How those two the grown up Shazam? Mesh. Yeah, I mean it's it's kind of strange, but this does for a rumor. This does have some credibility in the fact that uh, you know, uh, well, The Rock and, recently said that Shazam and Black Adam mo movies are separate. That they they necessarily have to be anything with with one another, and that they could meet up eventually down the line. Yeah, that doesn't seem sound like. I mean, that sounds like they're they're, they're separating. They know they have something with The Rock, <laughs> yeah. right? I mean, you don't sign someone that big. They let him into, apparently he has had a meeting with Jeff Johns about the future of the DCU, EU. You that's know? interesting. So, and that's where this comment came from right after that meeting about this. Yeah. He goes to the meeting with the heads of DC, with the DC, Jeff Johns, talking about the future and the tone that, that the DCEU is going to go, and comes out and says, yeah, well, Shazam and Black Adam movies are separate things. Maybe they'll meet up down the line. How do they not meet up? I mean... Right, they, yeah. You don't have one without the other, really. But, so, and this is the way, sadly, this is the way studios do think, right? They have a big actor, a big talent. He already wants to play this character, right? Right. But they're not confident in the property that this character is attached to. Right. But they do have another property, Man of Steel, mm -hmm. right, <laughs> yeah. that it syncs up with, you know? Yeah. Well, they've got to be getting nervous with Rock cozying up to Disney, yes. like he has recently. That's true. Um, so who knows if that has something to do with, Hey, we got to get him into something big. Yeah. Just to right be clear, away. as of now, it is just a rumor. It is just a rumor. This is pure speculation right. from our Reddit page. 
of someone who supposedly has inside information. Right. But now, this apparently is good information has come from this site. Mm-hmm. We don't know. Right now, officially, as of right now, there is going to be a Shazam movie. There is going to be a Black Adam movie, but they are separate. Okay. And they're not apparently not going to be in each other's movies from the sound of it. They didn't come out and say that, but the comments he made after the meeting made it sound that way. Made it sound that way. So hmm. that led more credence to this rumor, the speculation about you know them kind of shelving the Shazam movie. Right, yeah. You know? So we'll see. Hmm. I think we're not, there's not going to be solid announcements for any of this stuff until after Wonder Woman, after Justice League. Right. And we've all been saying this all along. If those two, those two movies don't make it... There's going to have to be a reset button. There's going to be some yeah. major changes. All right. And then we finally move on to comics, which will contain spoilers. So uh, be forewarned, spoilers for... I guess Wolverine, X-Men Blue, and X- well, and X-Men Gold so far, so much. But yeah. X-Men Blue X-Men and Blue, Wolverine definitely. here. So if you're still here, Wolverine is back. Kind, kind of. of. <laughs> yeah. They're teasing the return of Wolverine to the X-Men Blue team, which is the out-of-time people. Yes. I guess. The original team. Uh, yeah. Um, but it's not a resurrection. And technically, it's not Wolverine. It's Or it is Wolverine. It's not Logan. It is... His son, if I'm understanding this correctly, his son in the Ultimates universe, Jimmy, Jimmy Hudson. Jimmy Hudson. He looks like Wolverine, just blonde and yeah. young. Um, I don't know about you, but this sounds like a horrible idea to me. <laughs> well, I thought right. Old Man Logan was in, in the regular universe. Horrible idea. Yeah. Uh, the, the one thing about it, I understand why they're doing it. They're saying he has the same attitude, he has the same abilities, same claws, everything. He looks like yeah. Wolverine. They put him with this other time displaced team. Right, right, and now he can crush. He now he can hit on Marvel Girl and not be creepy. You know, the creepy, <laughs> not a creepy old man. You know what I mean? Not yeah. all the same age. So now they have now they're all kids still. Right, right, they're all young. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but you know, I'm old and crusty. But yeah, now and Wolverine's my favorite character. Right, so, so it's, uh, I don't. They like still got to bring Wolverine back for generations, right? I would assume so. Right? Yeah. I mean, they're not going to use this Wolverine. This is, yeah, this has this no is, connection to yeah. um, X23 so, at all. So, so apparently this summer, the original Wolverine is supposed to be back for generations and it's not going to be. So then we'll have time four travel. Wolverines. So then it will be yeah. Old Man Logan, two of the same, Jimmy, two Logans, and then, you know, yeah. the original and yeah. X23. So, yeah. Who oh, no. uh, that's, knows? That's a lot of adamantium claws. It is. I'm yeah. like, uh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Also in X-Men news, uh, X-Men Gold number one debuted to con- uh, controversy. And I read a little bit about this. So the artist on X-Men Gold is Ardian Sayaf. I think that's how you say his last name. Yeah. Uh, who is Muslim. Mm-hmm. I believe he's from Indonesia. Yeah. Um, and he snuck some images into the issue... Nothing over, just some numbers, you know, some numbers that represented uh, passages in the Quran and uh, protest movements in Indonesia to the... I was going to say the Quran number, I mean, chapter, verse, I mean, it was pretty overt, but it was... Well, I mean, it was just it was just there, you know, if yeah, you I didn't mean, know, if you didn't know his background or anything, you'd just go, what is this right, to do yeah. with anything? Much like the editors didn't know. Yes. <laughs> and then the, the 212 was just on a building... You know, just in, and again with no context or whatever. So, but it all has to do with this protest against the the Christian mayor of Jakarta. Yeah. Um, so apparently, they said Marvel said they were going to take action that they were gonna there was gonna be punishment. Apparently, he got canned. Yeah, he's uh, he's he he's tweeted been earlier saying that uh, his career's over, um, but he's his, not not ashamed of what he did. Oh, interesting. But he took to Twitter and... Because he originally, on his Facebook, he was apologetic. He's like, yeah. hey, I don't hate Christians. I don't hate yeah. uh, Jews. Yeah. I was just Trying you know, to bring expressing my this. support yeah. of something or other. Whatever. Um, I don't know. You know. Here's the thing is... I understand that the company has to take a line on, you know, hey, this is not the correct place. Yeah. I don't know that... And I don't... I. There's a lot of people who've been fired for a lot of things that were not crimes. People were, you know, speaking their opinions or whatever, right. and they've gotten fired. I don't like that. I don't agree with that. Yeah. There should have been some kind of punishment you could meet out against this guy. Yeah. That wasn't you're fired. Right. You're like, I mean, he's a, he's an amazing artist. 
I mean, if you look at his work, he's really good. Yeah, it looked good. Yeah, uh, I liked it. The thing is, I mean, it, this kind of stuff doesn't belong in a book, especially X-Men, which is a book about... Uh, yeah, it's all about being... Um, acceptance. Accepting the you know, different. You know, yeah, yeah, fight against the hatred. Right. You know, and this is kind of, you know, polarizing. Yeah, it was totally the wrong environment for this kind of right. message. Um, so, I mean, you know, he made his bed and he's, you know, he's suffering the consequences yeah. now. So um, I don't know about the, he is a really good artist, so I don't know about this. My career is over. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure he'll It'll blow work. over eventually. Even if he does independent stuff, he's got talent. I yeah, mean, he's got talent. Uh, but the Marvel have, or they're reprinting the book. Uh, they're pulling all the digital store copies. Yep. Which has caused the original that's out to skyrocket in price. So if you did manage to pick up an X-Men number one, gold number one, uh, it's upwards of four times the cover value. And looking to climb as it becomes more and more rare. Yeah. Whether this is a great, I mean, not a great thing to, you know, for comic value to go up because of, but yeah. if you do have one, hang on to it. So. Yeah. There, there it is. Well, I look like that's our news for today. Um, join us again next week. We'll give you all the latest. Yeah. We're going to do a special on the Star Wars celebration. We were going to do some yeah. news on it. There was way too much news, <laughs> uh, way too much cool happening at the Star Wars celebration. Yeah. So we'll do something separate with that. Yeah, once it's all over, next week, all yeah. over with, we get all co get all the news together. We'll put a special show together for that. Uh, we're not exactly sure where we're going to be next week. Whether it's going to be here at this studio or a different one. Yeah, but uh, we'll definitely have that out there's for some you. Moving going on, and there's going to be the podcast will be uh, about anime this week. Correct. With a special yes. guest. So yeah. we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good one. <coughs> yeah, the... Uh, <coughs> did, did you see the panels with the, with the artwork in it? With the artwork?